Hello my dear YouTube lovers. In today's video, we will learn how to create paid quizzes for your WordPress website with our Quizmaker plugin. If you are an online course creator, teacher, lecturer, trainer or an SEO specialist and have created an online course and you are sure you have valuable knowledge to share, you can create paid quizzes and earn money. The Quizmaker plugin gives you the opportunity to show the payment method either before the quiz or after passing it. If you have an incredible and trustworthy branding, you can choose the prepay payment method so that your users will need to pay for the quiz to pass it. Or if you want the users to see their results and download their certificates only if they have paid for the quiz, you can make use of the post-pay payment method. Moreover, the Quizmaker plugin gives you the opportunity to show one-time, lifetime and subscription payment methods. By subscription payment method, your quiz will be active only during your chosen time period. And when the subscription duration is expired, the users will need to pay again to see the quiz. Let's make it together! Firstly, in order to create paid quizzes with Quizmaker plugin, you need to have either the developer or the agency package of the Quizmaker plugin as the PayPal and Stripe integrations are available only in these two packages. I have already installed the plugin so as not to waste your time. To create a paid quiz, we need to create the questions of our quiz. For that, we go to the questions page and click on the add new button to create our questions. As I have already created questions and added them to my quiz, we go back to the quizzes page, then click on the particular quiz and open it. Here is our quiz, here is our paid quiz, so we scroll down a little bit to see the questions added to it. In order to add questions to the quiz, you click on the add questions button and choose your preferred questions. Then click on the select questions button to add them. After adding your questions to the quiz, we can go to the settings tab and choose where to display our payment method either before the quiz or after the quiz so we scroll down a little bit to see the payment type option here it is you can set either prepay or postpay for the payment type option if you choose the prepay payment type the quiz taker will be able to pass the quiz only if he or she has paid for it if you choose the post-pay payment method, the quiz taker will be able to see the results or download the certificate only if he or she pays for it. Please note that if you choose post-pay payment type, the only available payment term will be one-time payment. We head to the integrations tab and scroll down a little bit to see PayPal and Stripe integrations. As you can see, PayPal settings and Stripe settings are not uh, enabled for the quiz, so we need to enable it. Uh, for that, we need to have both the PayPal developer account and Stripe developer account. I have already created both PayPal and Stripe developer accounts, so our next step is to go to the general settings tab then go to integrations tab and scroll down a little bit to see paypal and stripe integrations here we can see paypal client id for it we will need to insert the, the paypal client id from our developer account so we go to our account and here we can see create app button as i have already created an app called quizmaker we click on it and a new page is open for us where we can see the client ID. We need to copy the client ID displayed here and paste it to our quiz. Here it is. We save the changes on the general settings tab. Then we go back to our paid quiz. 
and save it. As we can see, the PayPal settings are already open for us. So we can uh, click here to enable PayPal. Then we can choose the amount. Uh, that means uh, how much the quiz will cost. Then we can choose the currency from the available options. And here we can write payment details like um, what you want to inform your users. For example, we can write that this quiz is paid and we can write the amount it costs for example uh, 40 dollars by this this information will be displayed uh, when the users want to take the quiz for now let's speak about payment terms available for paypal these are lifetime payment one-time payment and subscription payment terms if you choose the lifetime payment term for the PayPal integration, the quiz taker will need to pay for the quiz once at the beginning, then the user gets access for that quiz each time starting from that moment. I mean the user pays once and gets access to the quiz anytime he or she wants to pass it. If you choose one-time payment method, the quiz taker will need to pay for the quiz each time when he or she wants to pass the quiz. Here we need to pay attention to one of the advanced features of the plugin. That is the turn on extra security check checkbox. By this, if the quiz taker starts the quiz but leaves it unfinished, uh, then refreshes the page, uh, the user will need to pay again to get access to the quiz. Then comes the subscription payment term for the PayPal integration. By enabling subscription payment term, the quiz will be available only during your preferred subscription duration. You can set a duration either by day, month or year. So when the subscription duration is expired, the user will need to pay for it again to get access to the quiz. Please note that lifetime payment and subscription payment terms work for logged in users. So we are done with PayPal integration settings. We can pass on to the discussion of Stripe integration. We go to our quiz and here we can see that the Stripe settings are not enabled. In order to enable Stripe settings as well, we go back to the general settings page and see the Stripe integration here. As you can see, we need to insert Stripe publishable key and Stripe secret key. In order to find publishable key and secret key, we need to go to the API keys page on our Stripe dashboard. So we go to the Stripe dashboard, here it is, and go to the API keys page. Here is the publishable key and secret key. We just click on a publishable key and copy it. Then we go back to the general settings page and paste the publishable key here then we go back to our stripe dashboard then copy the secret key and paste it here for the stripe secret key then we save the changes we will see that stripe settings are enabled as well here we can see enable stripe button by ticking which we can enable stripe integration for the quiz then comes the amount option, which shows the amount of money the users will need to pay to pass your quiz. Then comes the currency, you can check the available currency options here. Then comes the payment details option, where you can specify the text which you want to display to the users. In this case it is written, you need to pay to pass this quiz. Now we can discuss the payment terms of Stripe integration. For that, we go to the general settings page. And here we can see payment terms available for Stripe. These are lifetime payment and one-time payment. Again, like the PayPal integration, if you choose lifetime payment term, the user can pay for the quiz once at the beginning and get access to it each time starting from that moment. When you choose one-time payment method, the user will need to pay for the quiz each time when he or she wants to pass the quiz. It's high time to see our quiz on a front end. 
We have decided to enable PayPal integration for this particular quiz, so we tick the enable PayPal option. And here we need to write the amount of the money the users will need to pay for the quiz. For this case it will be $0.1 dollars. Uh, the currency is already chosen here and we have specified the text for the payment details. It is you need to pay to pass the quiz. The quiz costs $0.1. Also, we have decided to choose prepay payment method so that the users will need to pay to pass our quiz. So this text will be displayed for us before passing the quiz. The plugin gives the opportunity to display the quiz on front-end in two ways. Let's discuss the first way, which is uh, the easiest one. For that, we go to the General tab and scroll down a little bit. Here we can see the Create Post for Quiz option. By taking this option, the quiz post will be generated automatically by the system after saving the quiz which will include the shortcut of our quiz. So you don't need to uh, manually copy the shortcut and paste it to the post. So we save our changes. After saving the changes, we will see that this option is transferred to WP Post. By clicking on the View Post button, we will be able to see our quiz. The second way to display our quiz on a front-end is to manually copy the shortcut of the plugin and paste it to the newly created post. For that, we go to our quiz and click on the shortcut of the quiz. Here it is. Then we go to the post page and click on the add new button to add a new post. Then we need to write the name of our post. It will be paid quiz. Here we need to paste the shortcut of the quiz, here it is. Then we need to click on the publish button and then view post button to see our quiz on a front end. Here it is. So the last step is to pay for the quiz to pass it. We click on a PayPal button and fill in all the necessary information required by PayPal. Once you have successfully made a payment, you can pass the quiz. So today together, we have created an advanced paid quiz with the help of which you can build a successful business by sharing valuable knowledge. Thanks for watching us and stay up for more informative videos. Bye!